Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Deuteronomy chapter 32, again. Starting in verse 25, the sword shall destroy outside. There shall be terror within for the young man and virgin, the nursing child with the man of gray hairs. I would have said I will dash them in pieces. I will make the memory of them to cease from among men. Had I not feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should misunderstand, lest they should say, our hand is high. And it is not the Lord who has done all this. More verses on wrath and judgment. I have no idea how many more of these I'm going to make, as long as I'm reading on it, as long as I feel like I have something intelligent and important to add to the discussion. And these verses definitely add a very different perspective. Lest their adversaries should misunderstand, and had I not feared the wrath of the enemy. What I get from this passage is essentially that one of the reasons that the Lord's judgment doesn't completely just wipe out the nation of Israel when they are disobedient. I already covered how his love is a motivating factor. There is another reason. And this doesn't sound nearly as kind or generous or like Christianity, defense, or anything like that. But it's in there, so I want to cover it. The Lord does not fully exercise wrath on Israel, and I would add to that, or us, because he doesn't want his enemies to misunderstand and think they're the reason that they're winning, they're the reason that the church or Israel is being put down. The Lord doesn't completely destroy us or them because he doesn't want the enemies to think, oh hey, we've won, the Lord is nothing. The Lord's hand is nothing. The Lord's arm is short. He wants even his enemies to know that he's still around. His people are still around. He's not going anywhere. He is able to preserve his people. Sometimes it's not just love that motivates the Lord to, I guess you could say, be merciful to us, to not exercise the fullness of wrath and judgment. Sometimes he wants to make sure that his enemies know, and I'm sure that includes Satan and his demons as well as just other humans who are against him, he doesn't want them to think that he's gone or he's lost or he's disappeared. We're not going anywhere. Sometimes not because we're obedient or because we're good. Sometimes because the Lord wants to let those opposed him know, hey, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Again, doesn't sound incredibly loving, but it is a testimony to even his opponents that he's not going to be overturned, that he can't be beat. So sometimes judgment is withheld for his enemy's sake. So thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments about this, and God bless.